guys, Sarah here from Marital Glue and I am so excited to finally do a video on my new planner system. If you've followed me in the past, I do have videos on my Filofax and, um, and other planner related videos that I will link below in a playlist. Um, but I, ever since having my daughter, decided to have a different system because I wanted something that was functional, which my file effects was, but also something that I could look back on and really be creative in and not have to spend all this time printing out papers and spend more time creating, which is what I love about the bullet journal. So I have a hybrid system using a Midori Traveler's Notebook system as well as a bullet journal. And I'm just going to jump right in and show you. I'm going to do my best to make this as quick as possible, but I'm sure it is going to be a very long video. But I want to show you guys an overview of it. And then if you have any questions, I can definitely answer them in the comments. And I'm also planning on probably doing follow-up videos on more specific little pieces and to go into them in more detail. But basically, I use this A5 binder traveler's notebook style cover, which I got from Gray Theory Shop on Etsy, which I will link below. It's handmade. Um, it's wonderful. It's very sturdy. And I love it because it allows me to do exactly what I want, which is use the Midori Traveler's Notebook and use a separate Leuchtstrom 1917. So let's just jump right in. Basically, this has two clasps, and then it also has two um, zip pockets that are really reinforced where I keep a ton of pens. I use, I've been really loving the Sharpie um, Fine Pens. I think they're fine. Yep, the fine size in all different colors. Um... They're a lot like the Stadler pens that are very popular, um, but I've just been using them lately. And then I keep my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens in the back. Um, I really love these. They come in different sizes as well. I tend to push really hard though, so I have to go get new pens more often because the tips get pushed down. But anyway, let's just go and see an overview. When you open it up, um, I just keep some notes of things I need to add to my planner in this little cover but you could definitely also add another notebook here if you wanted. I have three moleskin squared or graph K here's inside and I just covered them with scrapbook paper and washi tape and then um, using like a glue stick I just added these on and then trimmed them. I have one for monthly planning so it's like my long range planning and brain dumping. I have one for collections, um, and my reasoning behind doing this instead of putting a bunch of collections in my bullet journal is that I don't want to have to transfer them every time. So these are like long-term collections that I will want to look back on, not like short-term things, and I'll get into that as well. And then I have one K here for my businesses. I have my YouTube business, obviously. Um, I don't make much money off of it, but I consider it a business. And then I also have a child care business that I run for my home. So this is dedicated to that. And in the back, I just have my Leuchtstrom 1917 in A5. It's the blue color. Um, in the back, I have this pen hook, which I got online for Christmas. Um, and then I just have a sticker. I have a whole bunch of stickers that I use that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, just very random assortment. And I just put count your blessings. I thought it really matched. And then I just put this little heart. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of everything. So for my monthly book, all I did was um, I have a color code here, the year. I might use this for multiple years. I haven't decided yet. We'll see when 2017 comes along. But basically, I just um, have a grid, the normal calendar outlook like so, um, which I just did. And then I put washi tape across the top with something that kind of fit with the month. And then I write in like important things that I need to remember. So for my daycare, I have classes that I need to attend to keep my license up. So I just put those. Um, I have different like church events. I have um, party details, happy hour with my friends, you know, all those like appointments and those types of things that happen on certain days and birthdays and that kind of thing. I keep in here for long range planning. And then at the start of every month, um, I transfer this to my bullet journal, as you will see. That's all I have in here, except at the back, I recently added a brain dump, where I just, whenever I think of something that I need to buy or want to buy in the future, I just add it here. And I also have a brain dump for things to do. 
um, and this is just in the very back of this and I the reason I keep it in this one is because these are like long-term things that I probably won't get to right away that way even if it crosses over to next year I'll know exactly where to look for it whereas my bullet journal I might be in this only for a few months and I don't want to have to keep transferring it over and over again so that's my monthly journal my collections, um, in the beginning I just wrote collections, book began January 1st, 2016. I have my index where I just keep track of what I have in here, I don't know that I've updated it recently. I have a books I've read page where I'm going to keep little um, notations of like how I would rate it, and then a blank page for that as well. And then I just go through and have like books I want to read in different categories, so on. Um, movies, TV shows, baby names I like for the future, vacation ideas I haven't filled out yet, a wish list. Some of these I haven't gotten to, but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, I just I don't do some of these pages until I really feel motivated, and that might take a while. So I want to have a wish list for myself of business and personal things I would like, like if somebody wants to buy me something or you know to tell my husband around my birthday and that kind of thing. I'll keep that here. Gift ideas for friends and family. Um, I want to do a reverse bucket list, which I got the idea from Boho Berry, who is very inspirational to me when coming up with my system. Basically just listing out things that I've done that um, would be like things I would have had on my bucket list years ago that I've accomplished. So I can just look back and say, wow, these are all the things I did. Really cool. Um, I want to do a level 10 life. I do do the Miracle Morning, which I got into before I ever know knew about care from Boho Berry. But um, I want to add that to my my collections as well I just haven't gotten around to it and then I also want to do 100 goals in 10 years which I also got from Kara from Boho Berry I left some pages for that I want to have a page where I list things I want to do every day every week every month and periodically and yearly I just haven't decided if that'll be just everything or like routines or cleaning um, and that kind of thing so I haven't done it yet um, I have a My Dream Life where I just wrote down my dreams for my life, but as you'll see, I did something really cool in my bullet journal that kind of made this more visual and something I can um, look at on a more daily basis in my bullet journal. And then I have different house projects corresponding to different rooms that I want to do to our house. Sorry for my dog's chain, not chain, but her little collar, like make it sound in the background. And then just movies I want to buy. Um, so that's basically it for this one. Uh, I still have a lot of pages to take up, but this is my long-term collection book, things that I want to reference for probably years to come, um, and that way I don't have to keep transferring it from one bullet journal to the next. Then I have my business book, which I haven't done a lot with yet, so I'll just quickly take you guys through it. But basically I have a YouTube section, and then halfway through I have, let's see... Uh, my daycare collection. My YouTube, um, I just made a cover and I have a separate index for my YouTube and for my daycare so I know what pages everything is, are, everything is on. Um, I just keep video ideas in here in different categories so when it comes time to plan my videos for the month I have a bunch of ideas already here that we just keep adding to. Um, that's pretty much all I've done in there so far but I do want to add like stats and um, other things like that but I just haven't decided exactly what I want to do with it yet and then for my daycare um, I want to keep track of things that I want to do daily during nap and afternoon I've only had my daycare for two months so I don't want to fill this out till I know exactly um, a to-do weekly to-do monthly to-do periodically to-do yearly I want to keep track of things I can write off that I don't normally think about like utilities um, and things of that nature um, because I can save a lot of money come tax time on write-offs. And then I want to keep track of toys to buy for the kids as well as other things to buy like around our house that might work well for the daycare. And then I want to keep track of fun activities as well. As you can see a lot of this is blank because I just really want to take my time and do it right instead of rushing into it um, and make sure these are things that I will actually reference. Um, I want to keep track of all the breakfast ideas I've seen, lunch ideas, and snack ideas because sometimes it gets a little boring. And then I want to keep track of networking ideas I think of and then recurring monthly expenses that I have that I can write off like um, 
like Netflix, since we watched Netflix um, before lunch, and our trash bill and that kind of thing, Verizon bill for our cell phones, all that kind of stuff are monthly expenses, expenses that I can always write off every year. So I want to keep track of that here. Holiday ideas with the kids, um, gift ideas for the kids, and then I have this section here, um, but basically I'll give you the example of my daughter. Um, for my daycare in Minnesota, we have very strict rules on how many kids we can have, what ages the kids can be, and that kind of thing. So it gets a little confusing sometimes when one kid is aging up to the from like a toddler to a preschooler, and it's kind of hard to remember like, okay, does that mean I can get another kid? If so, what age? And that kind of thing. So I have this sheet where I just keep track of each child's birthday, um, what category they're currently in, so uh, or what their category they're going to change to on their birthday, which my daughter just changed to a toddler um, because she just had her birthday um, and then I'll cross this off once she gets to preschool age and so on and then I have the date of when that child will age up so to say so it's a little confusing but that's what I do to keep track of that and then the rest of this one is blank so this is one I want to just keep adding to over time to make it really work for me but the heart of my planning happens in my Leuchtturm 1917. Absolutely love this. Um, it's working so well for me. And what I can do is just take this out and take it with me if I'm going anywhere since this whole thing is pretty bulky. Um, but let's just take this out and I will take you guys on a little tour. So on the outside, um, I added tabs just because um, some of the things that I reference every day during my Miracle Morning are kind of all over my planner and it takes me time to go find them so by having tabs it makes it a lot easier um, so I just I can reference my affirmations my prayer log my tracker for the month which I'll just move that every month and then my gratitude journal for the month so I can move that as well um, and those are Martha Stewart tabs from years and years ago that I just had left over. So on the inside I'm covering my personal information but I got this idea from Kara from Boho Berry once again to have a little um, flip out thing that shows my color coding and that way when I'm looking on the side of my planner I can reference things depending on the color um, and it helps me know exactly where to draw those in. So for example, just open up a page. Here's a daily page so I just colored the end and I knew exactly where to color because of this little flip out and I have one in the back as well so to, no matter what page I'm on I can see where I need to draw okay and then in here obviously I just have my index um, and then I start right on January and what I've been doing for the first three months is just having a cover page for each month and I'm not very good at drawing and my handwriting is not very good but um, it doesn't stop me from trying to beautify my planner a little bit because I really do enjoy doing that so what I did is just wrote the month and then during the month I just used different colored pens and I write key things that happened that month so I can look back at the covers and just know exactly like okay Celia started walking this month um, I started bullet journaling we had my daughter's dedication that kind of thing so um, it's just really nice to have like a whole snapshot of the month then I keep the traditional bullet journal like monthly outlook here which I just reference my monthly book back in my um, my Midori style planner that I was showing you and I just write in um, the key things here so that I can just look at this during the month and I don't have to go back and look at the other book all the time. I also keep a to do next month um, list so during this month say January um, I can think of things that I need to do but I can't do it that month I don't have time or something and I write it here to do next month and that way when February comes I have a list of things that I know I need to do. Then is my gratitude. Every month I try to do two things, two or three things I'm grateful for. I do this during my miracle morning and I love this. I just love looking back on it and knowing everything that I am so blessed to have and to be able to do. Um, and then I have my affirmations. So I do the miracle morning as I said and these are my 15 affirmations I say to myself every day and this one's tabbed because I come back to it a lot. 
and then every month I do trackers I have let's see how I can get you guys to see this better there we go I have um, a habit tracker so for this month I did vitamins um, take a prescription miracle morning Celia's bath I like to keep track of when I gave my daughter a bath exercise which I've been slowly getting into um, when I was dining out and then my water intake and then I also keep track of videos that I want to post and edit and film so that way I can stay on top of that and then I just get right into my daily pages I started doing these with boxes um, but I ended up not liking that so as you can see over time I get rid of that um, and then I also like these daily pages because I can just draw things in. I did start doing like a page a day, but I switched that later on too. That's what I really love about the bullet journal is if something's not working, I can change it. And I didn't spend all this time like printing stuff out and making this whole um, planner just for it to not work. I can switch it up the next day and be happy about it. So I just have some more daily pages. Um, what I have been doing is at the end of the week I have a next week section this week was really busy um, and I just write down things that I need to do the following week much like I do for the month um, that way I have something to base all my planning off of for the next week more daily pages more daily pages and so on um, let's see and then I have a to pray for thing I don't want to show it too much but um, I just keep a list of everything I want everybody I want to pray for and what I want to pray for them about um, and then more daily pages then I come to February so here is just another so here's just another cover that I decorated just with um, you know words about things that happen um, and then I do have some collections within my bullet journal but they're more just like things that I'll need to reference for the month like so after my daughter's birthday I kept a list of a ton of stuff I needed to do um, because I was really stressed out about her birthday and didn't want to have all this extra stuff to do like taxes so I made a list of stuff that I could put off till after her birthday um, but anything long term I keep in my collections book which is separate that I just showed you then I have once again my monthly spread my to do next month um, and then I've been doing a two schedule weekly so every week I need to make sure I schedule my daughter's baths because otherwise I forget to give them to her. Um, schedule paying bills, editing and posting vlogs, groceries, meal planning, church, filing, planning for week, and garbage recycling. Those are things that happen every month or every week that I need to make sure I plan for so it's just nice to reference this. And then I have another tracker. Um, this time I did a few different things. I got really sick in February though, so that's why it's very blank. Um, some days I just didn't even track. Some days I did a lot of these things, but I just didn't track it. I was so sick. Um, and then once again, my video schedule. And then just more dailies. Um, I was doing two days on a page. And then, um, so it would go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and what I do, I run a daycare, as I said, so, and my husband works a really weird schedule. So my husband's color is this, like, mint green. So I keep his schedule here for the day. And then I have um, the initials of the different kids who come and what hours they'll be coming. So I know kind of what my schedule's like for the day with the kids. Um, here's my February gratitude. Um, I was grateful for a lot, but like I said, I was really sick. So I didn't do this as much as I had wanted. Um, and then I made a monthly bullet journal setup, things that I want to have at the beginning of every month because they were starting to get a little scattered. So now I know exactly what to put every month when I start a new um, setup for the month. And then I just really like this quote, so I put that here. Another um, collection of just like RSVPs for my daughter's birthday and then more dailies. Some notes um, from a meeting I had. I like that I can just have them in here and reference them and more dailies. <laughs> more dailies. Okay, so here's where I started to get really creative. Um, it's not quite March yet, but I started setting March up when I realized I was already writing in the days for March and realized I hadn't done any of my monthly setup. Um, so this is what it looks like before th the month starts and then I just fill it in with words as time goes on. Um, I have my month at a glance. I started adding little lines for the week so I can keep visual track of where I'm at in the month. My to do next month and to do weekly I shorten and put on one page because I don't need a whole page for those. 
And then my trackers, this time I'm going to be keeping track of vitamins, healthy breakfast, healthy lunch, healthy dinner, my miracle morning exercise and water. Um, and then I have my video schedule once again. I have my gratitude here. This time I actually like went through and numbered each day and did one, two for each um, gratitude sentence I want to write. And then it goes on the back. And I started adding stickers this month um, just to make it more beautiful since I'm not the most artistic, but I love having color and quotes and things like that to inspire me. So I've been really loving that. Um, and I've started to really just get playful with my bullet journal the past few days um, and I'm really loving what I've been coming up with. So I had a list of Easter basket ideas for my daughter and for the daycare kiddos and it was just floating around the house and I decided why not add it to my bullet journal because it'll be fun to look back on and then I don't have to have this extra piece of paper. That's the whole point of my bullet journal is to not have all these extra pieces of paper everywhere. Um, so I really like how this one turned out. I think it's really cute. And then in March I'm going to start doing um, something I got the idea from Kara from Boho Berry. Um, it's a weekly spread and so basically how I plan right now is I just look at my um, next week section and then I write out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and I plan for the whole week at one time. Um, but I realize a lot of times I end up moving things to the next day because I end up not having time or not wanting to do those tasks. So I realize I would much rather sit down at the end of each day and plan for the next day. Um, but I need some kind of um, grid to go off of for that. So I think this will work really well. So I'll keep track of any time sensitive items here such as meetings, appointments, um, times with friends that we have a set time to do. I'll keep that here in the time sensitive category. And then things that I have to do certain days but can get done anytime that day I'll put here. So that would be things like um, giving my daughter a bath or um, starting a crock pot meal or posting a video. It doesn't have to be done at like 9 a.m. or whatever, but it has to be done that day. I'll put in this column. And then just my general to-dos that I have to do at some point throughout the week, I'll put here. And that's what I'll really reference when I'm planning for that night for the next day. I'll look here and say, okay, what things on this list do I want to do tomorrow? And then I'll take from that and put it to the next um, day. And then I have the next week section just like I had before but I'll just keep it here of things that I want to do the next week. Things I want to do around our house, vacuuming, sweeping, I've been doing the KonMari method of tidying up so I might have stuff related to that here. Anything related to my child care that I want to do that week I will put here. Um, I thought I it would be fun to just keep track of what I'm reading for that week here and then have our dinners planned out here and then anything related to YouTube I'll put here and that way when I'm planning for the next day I look at this and then add it to the next day anything from this I want to get done um, and that way I can plan every day and be a little bit more creative and have like a stress-free time of the day whereas before I was kind of stressed out trying to do this for a couple hours for the whole week now I can just do a little bit of time for the next day and make it colorful and journal about the previous day and that kind of thing and really make it my own um, on the next page, I have been really having trouble motivating myself to exercise. I'm trying to do the 21 day fix. Um, so I made this little workout motivation page. Why should I exercise? And then lame excuses and what I say to myself. For example, I'm tired. I should say to myself, I, have, well, I will have more energy if I work out. I don't want to. Do I want to die young and leave a legacy of lethargy for my daughter? Um, just stuff like that and then I if I don't want to work out I can look at this and remind myself of why I want to work out and I thought this was kind of cute it's not I'm not the best art artist but um, I made like a little like squat rack or whatever barbell thing um, with some weights on it um, and I just put a little sticker that says like a boss I have this blank page I can still decorate and then the next page is my absolutely absolute favorite page that I've ever done or spread I guess you could say I just finished this so as I talked about in my um, I think it was my collections book I have a like Sarah's dream life thing 
um, but it's very boring it's just a list so I thought I would take that list and make it a vision board so during my miracle morning when I'm visualizing my dream life I actually have something very inspiring to look at so I basically just um, wrote out in cursive so I'm wanting to practice my cursive and I actually think it looks okay you know I think it's kind of cute um, so I just wrote different things um, in black and then I went over it with a different color and then just drew little doodles um, that went with it and I just think this is so beautiful and so fun and I love to look at it I think I will love to look at it every day um, and I can always add to it more um, over time I could use this blank page if I ever needed to I suppose um, but yeah, that's my dream life at a glance. Um, I could definitely go into this more if you guys were interested, but I didn't want to spend too much time going into the details of everything because I wanted to get this up and to show you guys all the little pieces. So if you want to know more about this spread, I would be happy to share. Um, and so far, that is it for my bullet journal, except in the very back. Um, I did this the other day um, because I spent so much time every time I'm doing things counting squares and trying to remember how many squares there are and what would be half and what would be a fourth so what I did was just make this little grid um, so there's 38 squares going up and down 26 going this way half of it vertically is 19 a third of it vertically is 12.7 a fourth of it is 9.5 um, half of it horizontally is 13 boxes a third of it horizontally is 8.7 and a fourth of it horizontally is 6.5 so now I can just look at this if I'm doing a spread and have to kind of break it into chunks and I don't have to sit there counting for minutes and trying to remember um, this will save me a lot of time I think it's very handy and I don't know if anybody else does that but I just thought it was a really good idea I wanted to share with you guys so um, I know this video is already really long I tried to go as fast as I could um, but if I glanced over anything and you wanted if I glossed over anything and you wanted more information let me know I could definitely do a whole video on something or answer it in the comments um, I hope you guys like this video this has been months and months and months in the making I spent many months in the fall and the beginning of winter just planning what I really wanted for my planner thinking about my life thinking about what I want to look back on how I want to plan how um, comforting and relaxing planning is for me and how to encourage that every day um, and to have a creative outlet so that is why I have the setup I do it's been working amazingly for me I absolutely love it I can't see myself switching anytime soon and hopefully never because I really do love it um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will have links to everything I can think of that I mentioned in this video in the description box. Let me know if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. We do a lot of planning, organizational, marriage-related, family-related videos as, long as, as well as daily vlogs. So if you're interested, please subscribe and you will see those in your subscription box almost every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!